night in the garden of good and evil? Yes, I have. Okay, well, if you look at Jude Law, he was wearing a belt buckle that I created. Okay. And so the, the belt buckle is in there. And uh, I made that when I lived in Rome back in 1968. Okay. And um, I had a lot of success in Europe. I was exhibiting in, in London, mm -hmm. Paris, Amsterdam, and now I'm living here in Savannah. Now you've been about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, when you're 82 years old. You're 82? You did. Right, I'm 82. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a question of attitude about yourself. True, true. And then if you have good health, you have no reason not to look good. You know true. what I'm, I'm saying? I'm 61. Well, there you go, but you don't look. They say black don't crack. Okay. All right? Right. So there we are, okay. you know. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I have a love-hate relationship with Savannah, I think. I think people are very friendly down here. Mm -hmm. But to get things done... It's a process. Oh, people tell you, okay, I'll be there tomorrow. Tomorrow comes, no phone. Okay. When I do see them, oh, I had to take my mother to the doctor. I had to take my sister to the doctor. Mm -hmm. All these bloody excuses, but all you have to do is just call me. Right. You know, that's all you're, you have like to do. Like your time is not valuable. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. you know. Okay, so check this out. I have a question for you. Go ahead, I'm listening. Looking back over your life, mm -hmm. what is the one life lesson that you could probably share that may help someone else coming along? Take care of your health, number one. Don't eat bad food, number two. Number three, always have something to do. If you're idle, <laughs> you get in trouble. Okay. But as long as you've got something to do, and i got something to do every morning. Okay. I get up every morning, okay. you know. And those are my three lessons that I've learned in life, you know. And never take yourself serious. I don't take myself yeah, serious. Yeah, life's too short. Yeah, because most people take themselves so bloody serious, mm -hmm. you know. They don't know how to be self-deprecating. Okay. You know? okay. So there we go. But thank you so much. It's, it's a joy meeting you. All right. And uh, continued success. One last question. How does Savannah's art scene compare to the other places that you visit that are lived? It's, it's coming along. If SCAD wasn't here, it would be sad. Right, true. But my friends did that, that uh, mural over there. And it's, it's great when you're upstairs and look, hi, guy. It's great when you're upstairs looking across there. And when they first started, the city, made them paint over it wasn't this thing it was another another design and i couldn't understand every city that i've lived in all over the world has had outdoor art right right and i'm saying they finally got the approval to do the mural over there you know the which, mural the mural is of turtle island it's turtle island yeah but it's a beauty and i know the artist okay. is a friend of mine who did that well they all are you know and what's the name the artist I know her name is uh, Catherine Sandoz, I think that, I, I'm not sure of it, but if you look at the right hand side, I think her signature is on the right, where the, where, where the sky is very blue, right. at the end of the, uh, at the end of the, um, yeah, I think her, her signature is down there. Well, Omar? So send me a email address so that I know what to look for on your website. I definitely will. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, good.